New details on a fire in the Bronx that claimed the life of a five-year-old boy. Kashmir Marquise was found inside the basement of his family's home in the Wakefield section last night. And today we learned that basement had been illegally converted. This is the second time this week. Family and friends are mourning a child killed in a fire in New York City. And Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis is live in the Wakefield section of the Bronx. Marcus. And David, outside of the home, candles, flowers, some stuffed animals in memory of that five-year-old boy who could not make it out of the home, trapped in the basement, a basement that officials say was illegally subdivided. Wonderful, wonderful people. They choked back tears and held each other tight. Longtime family friends and godparents to the mother of the little boy who died in last night's fire. It was a smoky blaze that started in the basement of the multi unit house where three generations of one family lived. It's so hard to believe that, you know. The rest of the people got out and how Kashmir didn't get out. Five-year-old Kashmir Marquise was found in the basement. Others in the house did make it out. A scramble that surveillance video shows started even before the first firefighters arrived. The child's 83-year-old great-grandmother and his 26-year-old aunt were hospitalized. And I saw them bringing out like six people and about 55 men went in there and they looked like they were looking for somebody else. That's when I saw them bring out a little kid and put him in the ambulance. Marquise would be pronounced dead at Jacoby Hospital. This is the second fire this week that's claimed a child's life. Seven-year-old Rory De Cristofaro died of smoke inhalation Tuesday on Staten Island. Former FDNY Commissioner Dan Nigro says the young and the elderly often need the most help escaping a fire, which is why it's important to teach kids a safety plan. If you can't get out the way you usually come in and out of your home, perhaps there's a fire escape. Um, close the door and go to a window and make yourself visible, things such as that. But you know, children may panic. Another complicating factor, the buildings department says the basement had been illegally subdivided into three single room occupancies. But for friends and neighbors, the focus right now is on the family's loss. Just full of life. I mean, you know, he was, he was, you know, energetic, you know, good. Just, it's such a tragedy, you know. Well, the cause of the fire has not been officially disclosed as of yet, but the homeowners were issued violations by the buildings department for those illegal subdivisions, and there is a partial vacate order for the basement level of the home.